AOC is being torched for bragging about killing tens of thousands of jobs in her district. Let's dive into the details, shall we? Proud of her efforts that resulted in uh, the potential loss of tens of thousands of jobs, Representative Alexandria Arcasio Cortez, Democrat from New York, recently bragged about dissuading Amazon from building another headquarters in New York City. She also slammed the uh, naysayers who she claimed never apologized for criticizing her over it. <clears throat> Though critics came back to knock the squad members on social media for the post, claiming she doesn't deserve an apology and should resign. The Democratic lawmaker chimed in on News Friday that Amazon would be pausing construction of its second headquarters in Northern Virginia amidst the company's current job cuts. Sharing a Bloomberg story on the development, the congresswoman tweeted, When I opposed this Amazon project coming to New York because it was a scam of public funds, the whole power establishment came after us. Billboards went up in Times Square denouncing me. Powerful politicians promised revenge. Op-eds and CEOs insulted my intelligence. She added, in the end, we were right. <clears throat> in a subsequent tweet, the lawmaker took aim... Uh, at those who criticized her campaign to block the construction project. She wrote, I, I know I'll never get an apology for that time, but it was worth it. We protected New Yorkers from a scam deal to drain public dollars from schools and infrastructure in exchange for empty promises of Amazon jobs without guarantees or guardrails. Sadly, cities who took it are suffering. The announcement that Amazon was pausing construction in Virginia came four years after Amazon abandoned its original plans to build the second headquarters in New York City. That move happened in response to Orcasio Cortez and other left wing lawmakers' campaign to block it being built there. In the winter of 2018, AOC tweeted, Now, what I don't want is for our public funds to be funding freebie. Hilly helipads for Amazon and robber baron billionaires, all while NYCHA and public schools go underfunded and mom pops go get nowhere near that kind of a break. Well, why not campaign on giving everyone that break then, right? That'd be way better. <clears throat> and just because they're getting tax breaks doesn't mean you're losing funds. I mean, they would have, you know, gave some taxes they're bringing jobs and they're gonna be paying some taxes in you know just it's because it's a break doesn't mean that's nothing the pressure aoc and her colleagues put on the company at the time which involved them politically targeting the 2.5 billion dollar incentives it would have received if it built in the city prompted amazon to abandon the project in early 2019 as CEO of Job Creators Network, Alfredo Ortiz, told Fox News Digital in 2020, AOC's efforts cost the city 25,000 good-paying jobs and sent a message to job creators everywhere that they were no longer welcome in her city. Again, refusing to apologize, the Democratic lawmaker uh, critics ripped her latest post. Uh, this guy says, Jacob Airy says, you don't deserve an apology. You should resign in disgrace. Wow. Author conservative, yeah, Jacob Airy blasted AOC tweeting, you opposed it to get headlines and cost your district countless jobs. You should resign in disgrace. And another tweet, Airy added, you don't deserve an apology. You should resign in disgrace. Investor Taylor Morgan wrote, wait, <clears throat> you prevented jobs from coming to New York. Then when the government causes a recession because of uncontrolled print printing and spending and companies do layoffs, you take it, take an I told you so victory lap. This type of grift is exactly what's wrong with Washington. Journalist and Grabian.com founder Tom Elliott tweeted, Virginians have thousands of Amazon jobs that New Yorkers don't, thanks to you. The Twitter account for Job Creators Network rebuked AOC, tweeting, Virginia still gained thousands of good jobs that your district lost out on. Not exactly time for a victory lap. And is Arlington suffering? Take a quick trip across the river and visit their good schools and clean parks to see. 
Mark Salona typed, uh, tweeted, Amazon is moving 8,000 workers into a series of buildings it just constructed at the site. And while navigating an economic downturn Congress has facilitated, still intends to hire 25,000 people by 2030. This woman is a fraud and a liar. And people are just going in on AOC. Founders Fund Vice President Mike Salona said Amazon is moving 8,000 workers into a series of buildings it just constructed. Yeah, we just read this. The Daily Wire's Frank Fleming added, is she claiming she foresaw they would have huge layoffs? That was her argument back then. People make fun of AOC for being dumb, but she's more dishonest than she is dumb. Uh, and anti-woke YouTube content creator The Quartering called AOC's blast an Olympic-level uh, uh, cope. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, uh, interesting. Yeah, I, I think she kind of deserves all the flack she's getting. I don't know why she brought this up again. She shouldn't have said anything. Now everyone's just mocking her like, uh, AOC, what are you talking about? There's still jobs there. You should have you should have still built in New York, you know? And that headquarters looks pretty awesome that they're building in Virginia. And it's just paused. They'll probably reconstruct, you know, when they need the people again. They were also saying, this article didn't talk about it, but um, <clears throat> uh, worker need, remote workers. A lot of people want to work remotely. So they're like, oh, okay, I guess we don't need that many people in office right now. Um, but, yeah, interesting. Uh, what's your opinion on the story, though? Please let me know in the comments below. Also, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for daily news updates, hit that notification bell, and share this video to help spread the news. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.